G'day guys. Uh, this video, I'm actually promoting somebody, a young gentleman called Cameron Davin, and uh, he's a new cutter, but um, all I can say is brilliant. Cuts fantastic, finish polish, everything is just spot on. Okay, now I do recommend him. Well, one simple fact, he bought some of my stone and he's cut them and he's done a brilliant job. He knows how to orientate a stone as well. So I fully recommend him and I'm promoting him in that in this situation. And I'll show you his uh, messenger photo. And uh, that's the young gentleman there. He's from Tassie. So if you want some nice stones which i'll feature after this video you'll see a couple stones that he sent me um a little short video and we'll see how it goes all right guys so stay tuned just after this right now bye G'day guys, it's the day of the props, here we are, Keith's just finished uh, sharpening and uh, just making up the headboards and uh, wedges, not wedges, wedges <laughs> and uh, that's the babies there, 1800 and 1500 we're dropping them straight down. Well, I am anyhow. And uh, yeah, Keith's cut quite a few here now. Now he's going to kick off again. Come on, Keith. Let's see you do it. Come on, show your talent. Busy talking yeah, yeah, yeah. Show your talent, Keith. Yeah, that's my little still that I bought up north, Mossman. And uh, yeah, always difficult to start. <laughs> There she go. Oh, nearly there. Anyhow, you'll hear it very shortly. It's very still. <laughs> yeah, it's very still. The still. Yep. Yeah. Once she gets going, she's good. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Keith's an old timberman. So, yeah, he knows what he's doing. That's why I got him doing it. Much easier than me. I'm just rough as guts. But I can still cut without a problem. Yeah, so we're waiting on Mister. Uh -oh. Is she flooded? <laughs> She'll start instantly. She did that to me yesterday. Maybe an air pocket of uh Okay guys. I'll switch this off. There's no need to watch him trying to start it. Oh here we go. Nah, she's dying. Alright, back later. Alright, here he is, we've got it started. That's the headboard. Very nice and fat. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, I think I need two hands for this. <laughs> See that? Easy way of going down. I'll leave you guys with it and uh, get that just a moment. Anyhow, there it goes. Next one, last one. See you guys underground. Okay, this is us. This is where I 
drop the logs off, okay? And uh, we'll show you. Here we go. We'll run through. This is where we carried it to. And here we are. Check it out, guys. Woohoo! Okay, this is it to hold the roof up. So now what I'm going to do is put the chicken wire all the way along the bottom here, all the way around, and all the way up to the top, and then fill this whole area with rock, dirt, whatever, and jam pack it, and just keep lifting up and then shoveling in. And that, and that will stabilize this whole area so I can take that pillar out, eventually take that pillar out. But before this pillar can come out, um, got to do this area here. So here will be three, six, nine poles going down here and the whole area getting filled. And then she'll be stable and I can take these pillars all the way through out. And there's Keith, of course. I couldn't have done it without him. Fantastic. And that'll be us, guys. All right. See you up top. Here we are, guys. Got to show you. There's the pile of dirt. And I just bought this uh, chicken wire. Okay, heavy duty. Okay. Uh, that is for to put in case the columns underground. So. I'm going to lift it up a full head height and keep pouring the rubbish dirt in there and it's just going to uh, it's going to go around the six columns and just fill it up and that way it becomes one giant pillar and for extra security that's what I'm doing there and uh, I got my motor vibration okay bolt over here she works excellent. Have a look at this. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect though. Sweet as. If I don't think it's good enough, I can add more to it, more weight. And that way I'll give a, a stronger vibration. But anyhow, that's about it. So I'm working now. But uh, first I'll have something to eat. And then I'll be right back. Until then, bye for now. Thought I'd show you some of the heartaches. Okay, um, the spigot over here got blocked here, all filled up, and I didn't realise, of course, and it obviously filled it right up, so I had to empty it and then fill it back up and then start it up again, and then it didn't uh, empty properly, got blocked again, undo it. All because the mesh that I put in, that I haven't put in, the fine one, has, is now allowing larger rocks, and that's the issue. Hang on, guys, we just got to switch that on. There we go. Woo! Dust everywhere. Anyhow, that's like. Okay. Back to normal. All done. Hopefully no stuff ups again. But uh, you get that with mine. Anyhow, there it is. Alright guys, back shortly once the wash is finished. Okay. Job done.
course guys I think the pole side is tipping a little bit over that way. I can see most of the wash is, <laughs> is uh, concentrated to one side. That means uh, I remember those legs being a bit rusty so after all these years. Readjust it. Okay, nothing big sticking out, that's for sure. Now that's about uh, 20 wheelbarrows, but I wasn't counting them. Well, I lost count, actually. To, to be quite honest, I lost count after nine. <laughs> yeah. So, stuffed up. But anyhow, it is what it is. <sighs> Rough day. Chain fell off as well, so the pulsator didn't want to work. I'll just check this, if it's going alright. Okay. Sorry about that guys, I okay. can't bring it back again. Uh, I had to make sure that it's not upside down. Like, ah uh, yeah, I can see something big. Come on, please be clear. Ah uh, no, bugger. Yeah, no. Nah. That's a nice big one. Hmm. Looks melted. Wow. It's different. Big dud. Okay. Ah. Ah, bugger. Another dud. I'm pretty sure there's nothing there. Yeah, touch of colour there. Oh, come on. Third time lucky. I could have gotten rid of all these quartz here. I uh, stopped a bit too early because of the pulsator tipping to one side. I thought I'd overdone it, so I've got to fix that too. Yep. It's 
three duds. Wow. Uh, fourth time lucky. <laughs> okay, there's a little dud. I was just about to say clear, but no. It definitely wasn't. Okay, there's one. Dud. Is it? Yes, it is. So far. Yeah. Dud again. And there's another dud. So far, ugly as well. Spinel. Big spinel there. Sapphire there. That's a dud too. I'm pretty sure, yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. A clear dud, but still a dud. Sun just went out. You've got to be extra careful. Oh yeah, another spinel. Titanium. Ah, there's one. Nice one too, guys. Look at that. Woohoo. That's pretty. What do you reckon? Yeah. That's very pretty. Don't need a torch for that one. Yellowish green. Sweet. Yay! Finally. Out of all that wash. Oh, there's another. A little bit of colour in it, blue. Anything else? Okay. What is that? Is it? No, it's a dud. Sapphire. But dud. There's a sapphire there. Dud as well. Wow. There's a sapphire there. A little star sapphire. Okay, it looks like it's a day of duds. Spinel there. Spinel there. Tiny, tiny little sapphire there. Oh, we have sapphire there. And it's a star sapphire. There we go again. Silky. Star. Bronze. Hmm. 
nice little shape and there's a spinel spinel sapphire there <laughs> it's a dud green look how green it is but see it's uh yeah pretty much all cracked up inside okay another star would have been nice two greens hey i reckon there's a screw again now oh, there's a sapphire looks like a dud oh, there's a sapphire this looks better oh yeah that's a little blue looks like a touch of yellow and it's a i'd say it's a blue on blue little one beauty come on now where's papa there's the sapphire there little one. star again That's a big spinel. Okay. Come on, sapphire. There. Little one. Good. Another little star. Another star. There's a little blue. Spinel. Sapphire there. Sapphire, a ah. little clear by the looks of it, yep, yeah, nice, nice little blue, a little bit of rough sh stuff on the surface, but that's only on the surface, the rest of it is very fine. That's a big one, big spinel. No wonder I was getting big ones. Why weren't they clear big ones? <laughs> yeah, there's a little pretty little pretty blue. Look at that. And another little pretty one. Oh. Look at that. Okay, this is 
something special. Okay. This is a dog's tooth crystal in its crystal form and it's clear. Look at that. Okay, that's pretty. <laughs> Gotta be happy with that one. This is a rarity. Nice. Okay, that just made my day. Okay. And there's another one. That's a starry bit. Okay, sweet. Happy endings. There's another one. Dud. A little one there. A little sapphire there. Yep, star sapphire. Pinkish uh, zircon and a sapphire there and quartz there, sapphire there. Yeah, I'm sure there's quartz here. There's a sapphire. Going on. Oops. I was going to say, I'm sure this quartz makes a lot of people think I'm missing some, but I'm not. The quartz tends to look like sapphire on video, but in real life it doesn't. Okay, last little bit. Spread it out. Ah, there's one. Sapphire there. Alright, that's it, guys. Turned out a good day after all. Mm -hmm. Very good day. Lots of sapphire. Um, lots of big duds. But, um, what was I going to show? Oh, yeah. See that? That's a star sapphire and that's rutile. That bronze colour, that's rutile. And you need that both sides of any type of colour of rutile and that forms a star. So you'd use this as a base and you'd dome this and hopefully creates a star pattern, a six ray star in the sunlight or torchlight. And that's what it does. One day I'll show you guys. I'll have to order a, a little lap uh, just, just a lap that just spins and I can do um, star sapphires with that and polish up other stones too for skin po skin polishing. Alright guys I'll see you inside with the tally. Here we are guys moment of truth. We'll have a look how big these big ones are. 61 carat. Second one 42 carat. Third one 29 carat. Wishful thinking. Okay, we'll uh, see how much the total is today. Wow, the, uh, actually, this is a lot from 20 wheelbarrows. Roughly. Whoa. Okay, 
We've broken the 200 mark, 204 carats. Woohoo, that's a lot. Okay. That's a good wash. Yep, I've got it now. Okay, now the most important part. Let's have a look how big is this one. I know it's not big, 5 carat, but this is a. Okay, look at that. Five carat crystal shape. Okay, and that's it there. That's not a crack. It is a crack, but it's on the surface there. So, yeah, pretty. Nice. Nice stone. Very nice. Alright. That's one keeper. Not a keeper. Uh, this one. That's a keeper. Oops. Let's have a look inside it. Yeah, that's nice and clear. Very good. Now, the star sapphire here we got. That's that one. Bronze star, keeper, that's a dud, um, this is a keeper, beautiful blue, look at that, okay, what else, oh, another one here, another blue here, rough surface there, okay, but a pretty stone, definitely, that's a keeper, that's a, don't know what that is. Dud. Dud. Okay, a little keeper. A little blue. Okay. Oops. Another little blue. See? There. Nothing. Nothing, nothing. That's it. Wow, out of 200 carats. Nah. Wishful thinking, that one. Okay, what about this one? Nah. Okay, that's it. Oh, yeah. Okay, I like it last. Oh, yeah. That one's alright. So, 200 carats, 23 carats of keepers. Okay. But one special, that dog's tooth. I'm happy. 23 carrots. Rest is random. It's all good. All right, guys. Uh, thank you very much. It's been a hard day for me. As you might see, I'm pretty exhausted after today. A bit of bad luck with the wash and so forth, with the plant stuffing up. But anyhow, it's all good now. All fixed and ready to go tomorrow. Woohoo! <laughs> anyhow. Like, share, subscribe. Bye for now. God bless you all. Thank you very much. Bye.